Hey folks, welcome back. And before we get started this time, I was editing the last episode and for, first of all noticed that the sound effects were quite loud, but also I noticed that, wow, look at all these guys bringing this stuff in here. Yeah, we're going to see that grow real quick, aren't we? Yeah. Um, Town Square. I made a big point to mention that you can walk through it. And I was going to place it at the end of the road, and then I went ahead and dropped it over here. So I've moved that one over just so it fits in what I had planned. Uh, zero people wanted to stay. We're at happiness of 60. Yes, because we are taxing, we're only taxing at one. And we do need to maintain that. We only have 20 gold. We've got to pay for our troops. And we've got to uh, throw gold at problems whenever things get bad we need to throw a festival so yeah we're gonna have to just deal with that for now food doing pretty good good enough I'd say well we'll go another year to see if this is real this food count um, otherwise we'll put another house or two in and just continue growing I think what I'll do is I'll take one hovel out and put a what are we call on this guy a house okay hovel houses okay Let's go this route then. Town. A hovel? No, that's a. What does it say hovel? How's this pet? There it is, right down there. Okay. Yeah, I really want that in the pop up. I want that to say hovel right there. Not what it does, but what it is. Anyway, okay, we're gonna thunder and lightning and, and be really loud again. I wonder how much lower I've really gotta turn the uh, sound effects down. I don't know. We'll see how it comes out this time. And yeah, next episode I'll go even lower if I have to. Thunder and lightning is quite loud, but it's not very common. Maybe once or twice per episode, so I don't think I want to turn it down just for that. Because I do want to hear all the little noises they make. So I don't want to make this, you know, completely silent. Anyway, what I was trying to say was, let's take one of these guys out and put a bigger one in. A cottage in. So hovel, cottage, manor. So we'll take one of these out, put a uh, cottage in, if this gets back to the 170 range at least, when we, uh, we're harvesting now. Let's see where we're headed. Are we on a downswing after adding that last cottage, or are we uh, sitting pretty level right now? In which case, we'll probably finish this off. Got snow coming in, we're going to get them all in. Everything's been harvested, it's laying on the ground now, and it's all in. All right, so we're coming back into the 160s, 170. Hmm. I would say, first of all, let's take out one of these. This archer tower made it. Let's demolish him. Five people don't have a home. So town, cottage, and rotate right like that. Get that guy built first. So any builders that we had available, let's just make sure that we've got plenty. So close both of these guys this house now is fully staffed open these back up again we'll keep playing that little game until we've got uh, plenty of, of extra folks in town which is probably going to be when all four of these get rebuilt um, now that once that is assigned and, and ready to complete so that we don't have anybody homeless for so long that they just get up and leave now we'll head into food and drop one, two, three more of these guys. And let's go ahead and put in the food. Nope. I didn't take, did it? I didn't drop a farm in there. No. Nope. So when I'm holding on to something, this is one thing that's kind of frustrating. When I go back to the, the markers right here, the Castle Town Food and Industry, I expect to be able to click on food and get my menu again. Not to have to right click and kill what's in my hand, then click on food. So these four need to cancel out whatever is happening at the end of the mouse. That just feels more natural to do that. Anyway, windmill needs to drop in there. That will increase the efficiency of all of our farms. How are the farms doing right now? This farm produces 12 of 12. And if I get in closer, right there, this little dude, Arthur, is a grandmaster farmer. This little guy is... Pause... Hmm, Pewter? Okay, dreams of the of the days when they were a child. Okay. Um, that doesn't help me. thought he was a farmer. Uh, you're a farmer. Just had a big burp. You are 
A Grandmaster. <clears throat> Grandmaster. A Grandmaster, Grandmaster. Hmm. Is that better than a Grandmaster? Apparently it is. An Apprentice Grandmaster. So who are you? You're not there anymore. Anyway, as they work, they get better. It's pretty much what I'm trying to say. As they get better, the farm produces more. This Grandmaster is helping to make 12 out of 12. This one, 12 out of 12. We get these new farms in here, we're going to see that they're only going to make 10 out of 10. When the windmill goes in, we're going to see that these are making something like 14 out of 14. Because the windmill is going to add more uh, efficiency to the system. So we're going to suddenly have a lot more food coming in. Enough so that let's go ahead and throw in some more people. So demolish you and town. One more cottage right there. Let's get that going. And let's make sure that he is employed. Let's get, uh, we'll close this one. Three of four. One more. No, we'll go ahead and do this one too. Close. Open. Open. All right. You're building as fast as you're going to build. This guy, five of five, he's building. This year we should get a whole bunch of food coming in, but we should also be using a bunch of food. So all that to say, do we build another store's food? <laughs> yeah, that needs to be the title of the building. Do we build another small granary? Or do we bite the bullet and build a large granary and just get it done? That's a possibility. I'm thinking this would be a great place for an orchard. A little food diversity here. So, and I'm also not noticing that the forester is actually planting any more trees. He's just taken down the trees that are here, and another one immediately grows up in its place. So, apparently, what we still have available here is still available here. So, I could drop an orchard right in here and take advantage of the dark green. That might be worth doing. In fact, let's do that. Though, okay, we're getting back into what I was about to say. Do we build a greenery? Hmm. This round is probably going to... Well, maybe next round. This isn't built yet. Next round is going to start to overwhelm the storage we've got. And I just hit the edge of the screen and took off. So, let's put in the orchard. I'm waiting for my first Viking attack. Probably before I do any of that, I need to get one more tower set up and running. That might be smarter. Let's do that. And where exactly? I like it here, and this could defend a tower out over in this area. And this would defend the base of that tower too. And that will kind of help defend this one. Here they come. Speak of the devil. Where are they coming from? That's a good area. Just one? So far, just one. Zoom in here. We got a boat full. We do. Not. We got five in there. And one of them might just be the uh, the pilot. Oh, there's another. There's one on each side here. So we have a potential of six landing. Boy, you get a little dizzy doing it that way, huh? <laughs> um. All right. So they're gonna come in here. Let's watch this. Then we'll continue our planning. They're gonna take their time. That's fine. They're gonna give us a show. When they land, they demolish all the trees around them. I'm not sure why that is. Other than that they are coming in and pillaging. Coming in and just destroying things. Two of them have flames. Four of them are heading in to try to steal people, kidnap. And two of them are going to go in and try to burn us out. We have a well there. Ooh, that's it, huh? Wells? This guy's not uh, covered. Flames are coming to where? Flames are heading in to our housing. They... Ah, uh, we should have got that tower in. They're gonna... Yep, already grabbed, but I can't click and figure out who they grabbed onto. So we got... We lost... Oh! Interesting. We took him out. But we lost whoever he was carrying. He didn't just walk away. Uh-huh. They're leaving. Empty boated. And so we succeeded. Are we going to see a boost here? Uh, trending toward 33. 
even though we won. Hmm. hmm. Good day. Hmm. I'll bet the peasants would enjoy a tavern. Um, we just got attacked, dude. Hmm. Uh, Viking raiders may be coming. Thanks, guys. <laughs> that helped out a lot. All right, so tower, tavern, and then I want to finally get into what I was wanting to get into this time. That was a... Let's see, food. Um, charcoal. And, well, charcoal and tavern. That's That was the major goal for this episode. So, no one visited. We have a very low happiness. Did it say why? Let's take a look at this. Uh, negative 12 for taxes. and That's fine. That's about as low as I'm going to get for taxes. Um, no charcoal. Is that really all we're concerned about? No other negatives. Interesting. Uh, we're going to talk about it now? Miserable. Yep, I know. I wonder if you hit a certain population, it then demands more. In other words, after 50, they no longer um, are content by not having a tavern. And it starts to stack up even harder. Don't know. He's there. His sphere of influence is that big. Debating whether to run a road through the middle or take off over here and use this. Kind of the front door of the castle right there, though. It would probably look best to have a road. I'm just going to put a tavern right in that spot, but... Oh, we'll do that. We'll build more castle out on this side. So, which way does that go? Do we stop there? You know, I think I'll stop there. Let's take you away. Let's just have the one road. Okay. So that's going to lead into something and something else. Wells in this area look fine. Need a well over here. Otherwise, we're fine. Um, <clears throat> don't need a guard tower over here. Guess we'll tavern right there. Let's see what the influence is. Town. Church. Cottage. There you are, tavern. Rotate you into there. Um, there we are. What looks like a... Ah, lost him. What looks like a front door? Town. Tavern. I'm going to say that's a front door. Rotate you around. And... Actually, I could put you behind. That's kind of interesting. Alright, let's look at the sphere of influence. If I can move without losing the tavern again. That's kind of frustrating. Too many commands with your mouse buttons. So, front door... Actually, I can turn the front door the other way. And aim toward the other road over there on the left. Okay, Sphere of Influence covers the backs of these houses if I go here. So if we got one in this area, and maybe one up in, like, this area, we would hit both of the, what are, I assume are going to be the two housing areas. I like that. You're going to go there. Alright, Tavern's going in. There's a few other buildings we need to get in as well as far as uh, happiness. We need to get the church in. We need to get a hospital in. In fact, I should probably go in a little sooner than I was expecting. Let's do something like that. Now, we're going to need a road to get into that. The hospital doesn't have a sphere of influence. So, it could be way over here if we wanted to. It's just that they've got to travel to go and heal everybody. So, I don't know if they are constantly roaming around and doesn't matter how far away they are or just what. Don't get a sense of distance with this. So, where to? I'm kind of liking in this area. So, if we were to road through here, at least two squares into there, or do we take off the back side of here? Where do we road? We could road right through. Right through the town square. I like the look of that. Alright, let's road there. And that will allow us to build the town hospital right in here somewhere so I want to pivot down and take a look at the, the building although this great big red things right in my way there's a front yeah or there's a front hmm okay pivot back up I think I'll do that. There needs to be two spaces in front of it. 
gives me a little more flexibility of doing something. All right, we'll do that. So, hospital is available. Tavern is already built. It's already built. Four workers are in it. Zero idle workers. Food is not doing all that great. It's uh, not going as well as I would have assumed. Let's put it that way. This did get built. We are employed. We're bringing in 14 out of 14 now. Though, over here, we're bringing in 10 of 10. Huh. Okay. I was thinking it must be 8 of 8 as a base. And then the the uh, uh, windmill, the mill, adds 2. Is that right? Are you going to tell me? Uh, windmill nearby plus 2. So you are a base of 6. Then we've added 2 to fertility. This must be a one of the really good tiles and then add a two for the windmill I see we'll add two more for the Grand Master okay that works out then so soon we're gonna make more food but until then let's see where we go up this time because we got down in the 80s that's not good orchards gonna take a couple of years to start to produce food so kinda iffy if it's gonna get there in time but, food, orchard, let's get it going. You're going there, I was thinking about right here. We'll go with this one. Let's put a couple more roads in. Ah, eh, one more. And, where to for some kind of a granary? You can go here, which makes it convenient for them to drop goods off but makes it further for an eventual marketplace. Whereas if I went over here with it and got a market over there, then we're kind of splitting the difference. I think I like that better. Um, there's no real need for it at the moment. We're, in, we're nowhere close to filling things. So let's go with a small granary in this area. I think that may be the route to go. Um... Where to specifically? Do I want to grow more in that area where it's fertile? It'd be great to put these things on infertile land. So, I wish I could put, put a building in a posit. That way I can remember that that's going to be the large granary and not build something else there instead. Where else would I put a small one? Right there? What else would go here? We don't need a well. Eventually another tower might land right there. Kind of like that. Speaking of towers, we need to get that going. So I'll kind of put all those on hold for a moment. What have you got for me? Peasants are unhappy. Yep. Now they want a church. Yeah, we do have the church to do, but I want to get the tower going. So castle. Uh, four. And exactly where? Let's look this over one more time. You... Don't really defend that spot. You do defend this spot, though. I think that is the best place. So, castle, one, two, three. And let's... And there's the problem again. You go away. Right-click. Castle. Archer. Let's test run this one. Sphere of Influence. Does not help over there. Let's go one more level up. Castle. Block. There. Right click, Castle Archer Tower. Now you can reach that base and that base. If I went a little bit higher, you might help defend a little bit more. Let's try one more time. Right there. Now, Castle Archer Tower. Now we're definitely defending the base of all the other towers and pretty much the whole, I will say, the downtown area. All right, that will work for that one. If I click it again and click away, nope, I'm s there we go. Now I got my circle out of there. So, what's happening in town? I would like to spend more time with this series zoomed in a bit. Kind of seeing what's going on. Watching the trees jiggle and the paper mache uh, birds flocking around. <laughs> Doing crazy nose dives into the ground. 
I'm watching these trees suddenly spring to life. That's kind of interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. I was kind of zoomed in one time while I was playing this uh, before I started recording and saw a tree go away and suddenly shoot right back up again. I thought, whoa, that's new. City, you're still unhappy and need a church. All right, all right, all right. Town, church. Where to? Not there. So where to? We have a sphere of influence here. So if we could get somewhere near the middle. Like so. That would cover all the housing. But I'd rather be... If I got into this area... No, that doesn't work. So we need to be something like this. I think so. So we need to... Now, if I were to grab this road over here, what would that do? Uh, town, church. I'm looking at the sphere of influence. That does cover all the houses yet. Though it's kind of weak. If I can get more into here, we'll definitely cover more. Front door on this guy. There, right? Um, if I were to zoom in, yeah. The little guy popping out the side appears to be it. All right, so how do we road into this area? Off of here. Off of here. I like that. Town. I like using that town center as a road. I think that looks good. So let's get those built. F no, that's right where the church goes. Wait a minute. Demolish. Demolish. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, can we turn it so that we make contact with this? Would that work? Town. Church. Right there. Now, can I turn this without losing it? Yeah. So if I did something like that... Might look kind of odd, though. But if I came down one more space... Yeah, that still covers all the houses up there. Over off to the right. And it gives us that space behind the castle. Yep, I think I like that. Oh, too far away from a road. Ah, uh, so the roads appear to connect to the town center, but it's not official. Interesting. Where, oh, no, 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 it's just this little spot right here. Oh, okay. So how do we remedy that? Pop something out of here? It might make sense to have access on both sides of the castle. Though that doesn't leave room for this guy. The Chamber of War. We need to get this in somewhere. And he's a 2x2? Two 2x1x2. Two? Two by... Two. He's an oversized 1x2. Like he wants to go right there. Let's do that. And then we'll road down this side and then we'll church. That might work. Town. Trying to reason my way through all of this. We do that. Um, do we build that there or not? I guess we have to. Let's take a look at the church again. Town, church. Lots of decisions to make here. Could do something like that. And we still cover those houses up there. And the door lands right at the end of the road. Alright, I like that. That's going to work. Okay. Now, what's next? Nobody is working, and we have plenty of stone and wood. All right. Close these guys temporarily. And right there. There. Close you guys. We'll close you. That's it. That will do. Food, 123. Still not a lot. All right, everybody's getting their workers now. And let's go ahead and open these back up. And this one. All right. So, everything's being constructed. Towers, right there. We need something out here. And then eventually we're going to need another ring further out. And after... Our inner ring of protection, outer ring of protection is in. Then we can start working on the perimeter. 
and not necessarily the perimeter of the island. Trying to fence off the uh, wall off this entire thing is a huge undertaking and not very realistic. Uh, one thing I would love to see in this game, where am I thinking? I know there was something like that in, um, um, oh, I've lost the name, the game with the, with the dwarves. Um, no, oh, Mrs. Rambler would kill me. It's her favorite game. Um, it'll come to me. Anyways, it's kind of like oxygen not included in that you're building in layers under the ground. And, uh, um, yep, I'll flash it up on the screen because my mind just went blank. But, um, there is a horn, you click it, and it calls them all into safety when an attack comes in. And I would love to be able to build a wall like this just around the majority of it and then put farms and stuff outside of it and then when vikings attack hit that emergency horn and a siren goes off and everybody will run to safety and then the vikings can come and do whatever they want to the outside that's one feature i would love to see in here that feels quite realistic like a the church bell going off and everybody running in to cover when the vikings attack so that you're not needing to wall off the entire island but just the important buildings and um you know because i would imagine other than the the great wall of china you really didn't have walls that surrounded the entire lands of a of a kingdom but just the uh, you know the major important buildings and then a moat around that and a drop you know a drawbridge and Where's our well coverage in this area? We're actually doing pretty good. Everything is covered. But they're taking a long time there. Are you guys going to get it? Eh? Okay, we got it. Alright. <clears throat> Built. I can now put in ballistas if I choose to, which needs to be done soon. This guy's getting close. No, he's not. 47. Got a lot of, a lot of materials to be brought over still. Otherwise, everything else is open up again. You want to tell me hmm. that they are very happy we can tax them to death now? <laughs> um, I think I was playing with one more tower for defense. Get my inner ring taken care of, which is probably five. Once we get stuff built over here, we're going to need another one kind of like there. Yeah, something right there. And then that one and that one probably protecting something right over here. Kind of like that. So, maybe right in here is where we want to go. Can I see the ground? If I were to grab this, I cannot. So, let's wait for spring. So, a tower in there. I want to get charcoal going. Charcoal is like stone. You can never make enough. Though, right now, they're proving me wrong. Because I'm not doing a lot of building. I'm doing mostly talking right now. First few episodes of any series tends to not get a lot done. Because I tend to be explaining everything that I know about the series. And then later, we get a lot more accomplished. Because I... All the explaining's done. But once we start building walls and, and throwing up lots of buildings, that stone's going to go away fast. Charcoal is the same way. You never seem to be able to make enough. So let's do the tower now that I can. And how big? And exactly where? I want houses in here. But I want those houses protected. If I were to do that, that would give me two houses. Or a manor house. No, not a manor house because you, they want neighbors. So you can't get two of them in there. Tower there. Let's see this one more time. You don't get anywhere near it. So it's up to you to, to defend them. I could go back behind. Kind of like that. I think they can walk diagonal into this stockpile. So if I went right there, it would work. So castle. One, two, three. And then let's do a test not ballista yet test archer doesn't defend the base of that so four is our minimum it appears castle block there right click tower that's bare minimum it gets us into that space right there for the next one kind of like that let's do that and let's go ahead and do that space while we have the stone to do it nope right click there four of them right there, right? Alright. And we'll do a test one of of these. What does that do? 
Let me see if I can get this circle to go away. There it goes. Alright, one more time. Castle, Archer Tower. He does hit that base. He hits the base over there. I think we're doing pretty good right there. Let's set it. Alright, defense is done for a while. Ogres aren't a thing yet. So, food is a better thing now. Okay, the orchard has probably come in. And is producing now. Let's try that again. There, that'll work. Little apples are forming. We're making an output of 33. Why? Base is 24. Fertility. We had two green, dark green patches in here. They gave us a plus 6. And we have a master worker. Three master workers in there. Okay, can we find one? Is a master. Ah, oh, but we're not a... What do we call these guys? <clears throat> You're a journeyman. You are a journeyman grandmaster. And you... All right, Grandmaster, Grandmaster. <laughs> so, yeah, so this 33, I'm guessing we'll go to 36 at some point when these become Grandmasters. So food <clears throat> is at a good, comfortable balance right now. I think so. Gold has dropped because of these archer towers and we're gonna pay for a lot more archers soon. Happiness is decent. Church is in. Church is providing eight. This guy is covering all the houses so far, and he consumes food. So he's taking some of our food away, consuming 10 a year, but gives us happiness of 10. Okay, more happiness besides throwing a, uh, uh, a festival. Town, is that pretty much it? Uh, they like having wells nearby. They like the fact that there's a hospital. Did we put, we did, he's right over there. So, let's look at a house. Big long list. Let's zoom in a little bit. Wow, that list goes completely out of the box. Um, where can I get to where I can read that a little better? Now we'll just give it a try. Food in the pantry, 14 to 15. So, the houses have lots of food in them. No charcoal, though. Ah, charcoal will kind of finish off the happiness. When the charcoal goes in... See, what have we got? Two, four, six, we'll have a total of ten archers at two each per year, so four per tower. So we need ten per gold per year, and we've got sixteen, so we got next year covered. So gold is okay at the moment. Charcoal is our is really our next big issue. Let me look down on my list here. Yep, that was it. So, charcoal. What I was trying to say at one point a long time ago is you can never have enough stone and you can never have enough charcoal. And charcoal eats through wood really fast. So the rain is going to flood us out here. We'll watch that while I'm talking. So I'd like to, you know, there's one. I'd like to have a carpenter, a, well, can't find it there, industry, a forester just for dedicated to charcoal making. So where and how? The housing's all down here right now. So probably best to do everything down at this end. So what I need to put in, no idle workers, because they are, actually we're not doing anything but, let's do our little, uh, little game of tag here. Close you, close you, close you. And there's plenty of wood right now, we'll close you as well. All right, give them a few seconds to all find new jobs, then we'll open you back up. Nobody jump back in. Nope. So we'll open you and you. All these. All right. So we've got workers now bringing supplies to all the towers, and that will get built. So I was talking about flooded fields and charcoal. That's right. May as well do charcoal out in this area. Boy, it snows a lot. I feel like just putting the game on pause so the, game, the ground will stay green for a while. Really tough being able to move from topic to topic and have to just sit here and wait to be able to see the ground. So next time we go green, I am going to pause it until we've got charcoal laid out. Seems to be the only way to make this work. Otherwise, these guys are building... Not. We've got a layer done and they all went back to work. Interesting. Okay. Pause. Let's, nobody work in there. Here, one, here, four. Close you, but they're just gonna go to work over here, I would imagine, so I gotta close them all and leave them closed for just a little while. 
forestry as well. Close you down. All right. Well, Vikings are invading. Of course. Let's leave these closed and let's get through the Viking invasion first. And then we'll go back to charcoal because we might need these guys to put out fires. Turn it back on. One. Yeah, two. So turn this way. Still just one ship. Okay. And same number of enemies inside that ship. They're coming in over here. Very thankful for that. We have three towers to greet you. Say hello. You off. Lightning's striking all over here. You're going to light things on fire for the Vikings, aren't you? Great. All right, let's see what's happening here. Took you down. You guys down. And you got a hold of one guy, and you all went away. Wish I knew what happened to the... Uh, did the arrows take out our guy as well? That'd be unfortunate if it did. You guys belong to the hospital. Let's dress in black. All right, so with that, we have adequately defended twice yet the happiness is tanking trauma from recent viking attack i wonder if we need walls to completely eliminate their ability to come in maybe that's what i've got to do anyway next time we turn green we are pausing and staying that way hmm. uh viking raiders may be coming let's fortify <laughs> all right pause charcoal let's deal with charcoal so I'm not getting the sense that we we're ever going to grow new trees onto other spaces even though this guy's influence is all through here this is always going to be just a dark green square so we could charcoal and forest forester out in this area if we were ever to, to put farming in I would do it right here so let's forester out in this area. And we'll charcoal in this area too. I think so. Um, <clears throat> industry. That's where all this stuff is. So we want to charcoal. Nope, we want to forester. Let's, let's plan that area first. Right click, industry, forester right there. So give you that sphere. probably doesn't matter. I don't get the sense that the more trees that are available, the better he works. Is there anything like that hinted here? Base output 16, and it's not... Okay, 16. His influence puts him into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares with trees. Let's see if we can get 6 or 7 squares with trees and see if the base output changes. Industry. Right there. If I went here, we've got more than five for sure. Too far away from a road, though. So, town, road. Pop in. And we'll do one more. And industry, Forester. All right. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plus tree bases there. So we'll see if that makes a difference. He's going to work this area. Then we want a place for him to drop off his goods near the charcoal. Do I do farming in here? I don't think so. I am kind of liking that guy right there. I think we'll go there next. Um, and or get out into these areas. So this is free. So let's go to industry stockpile. Let's give him a place to drop off. And there is a little walkway there. Really doesn't matter. I get the sense they get near it, they drop it. But we'll set it we'll set it into those trees. Right there. Because out of this also I want to put the charcoal. I'm thinking like one, two, three, four charcoals. And then a place to drop off the charcoal. That's the plan. Um, is it a viable plan? Charcoal takes 15 wood. We've got plenty. Okay. So let's... 
let's charcoal like that. And then let's industry. Small stockpile right there. And where? Now do we aim the door? Let's aim toward the road just in case that means anything. Right there. Okay. So we're going to make lumber or wood or whatever. Firewood, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be dropped right there. These guys are going to grab it from there, make charcoal, drop it right there. Then the town is going to grab it and take it into their houses and or the eventual market, which I'm going to guess is right here or there or somewhere in this area, is going to grab it and stock it and then they're going to go there to get it. I think that's the plan. That hopefully will be enough wood to supply these guys, leaving this wood alone, which I'm going to leave unemployed for just a while yet. You as well. All right. Actually, we've got our towers in. We do. It's just this area, and that area is not that critical. All right, let's get uh, Forester up and running, because we did use quite a bit of wood. And let's get oh, both, all three of them. We have a lot of stone. Let's get two of these guys going. And then to finish off this episode, I'm thinking. Hmm. about to take these guys out and put in two more cottages but I think that might be a mistake <clears throat> need to think more about food before we do that we're still not getting anywhere near to the 250 level so we don't have an excess of food and two more cottages will probably tip the balance towards starvation so both need to be thought about at the same time as well as that's going to boost our population, which is going to increase the chances of ogres eventually moving in. So we do need to think about that outer ring of defenses, and we need to think about getting a blister or two in the center. And then more toward the outer ring as well. So lots to do kind of simultaneously. I think maybe this would be a good place to call this episode done. What am I missing? Let's kind of just roll through town here a little bit before we... Take off. See what's happening. Head of household. Went and grabbed food. Dropped off in the home. Eventually be heading back out. Does it count? No, he's in there. Has bad teeth. And he's in there brushing them. <laughs> so they stay in probably for a while to simulate rest. Then they go back to work. I don't know. Simple game. But the more simple it is, the more your imagination takes over. So simple works. If I were to... Interesting. So I'm pivoting from a point way out over there. If I were to hit Q and E... No. So I'm pivoting from a point out there. I can't just... Well, I see. If I were to look down, then I can change my pivot point. Like that. When I'm down over here... Even though that was the center, I'm way out. That's why it works that way. I get it. Anyway, apple trees. They're going to harvest soon. In fact, if we hang around over here, we'll see a pop-up over here at the end of this year. That'd be probably a good time to shut this one down. We'll see that it's making 33 a year. Uh, food, 140. Two wood just showed up out of this guy. Uh, charcoal burners are in. They are. And they're not employed. There's our 30 food. 30? 30 out of 30. Okay, so the th it wasn't a 33 before? It was. We had a master's bonus and that went away. Interesting. Wonder what happened there. Wonder if they changed jobs or something. Hmm. But we need more workers, so we need more food. Then we need more houses so we can get more workers so we can get charcoal up and running. So that is for next time. So, I'm going to call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.